What's happening friends, Don back here at Trotec again. Welcome back to Rock Edition. Today we're gonna to show you how we made this memorial granite monument to Canadian legend, Stomp and Tom. Now let's look at a step-by-step -step of how we created our monument. We'd CO2 engraved each of our 12 by 12 granite slate tiles using the Trotec Speedy 360. Keep in mind that we've used the Speedy 360 for this application, but because the tiles are 12 by 12, we could have used the Speedy 100 and still made a monument of the exact same size and detail. Where sandblasting is ideal for the deep engraving of things like text and numbers, lasers are perfectly suited for very high detail engraving, things like photo engraving. We then took a sheet of 24 by 48 inch plywood and spray painted it black. We then placed our tiles on the plywood and attached them using industrial adhesive. This application is ideal for any business working in the funeral industry. A laser allows for highly detailed personalization of any of your tombstones, memorials and monuments. If you're already using sandblasting to make monuments like this, you should know that lasers can be the perfect complement. Lasers also allow you the option to cut your own stencils for your sandblaster from plastic or acrylic. We started with our 24 by 48 inch image of Stomp and Tom and separated it into eight individual 12 by 12 inch squares. This was done using the power clip in Corel. The same thing can be accomplished using mass clipping in Illustrator. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for videos coming in the future. You rock. Where players dash with skates of flash, the home team trails me.